walked into my office clearly, clearly, absolutely clearly. I heard the Lord say, resign. I said, resign? And the, and the situation I'm in and, and on my age, resign. The Lord said, just resign. And somebody left a newspaper on my desk. I looked at it and I saw an advert there for NAMPAC. Now this is from medicine as they were, inverted commas, to plastic. I mean, what did I know about plastic? Only thing, the closest I got to plastic was cling wrap. So <laughs> I thought, well, okay, you know. I said, are you sure? He said, I'm your father. So I phoned. And with a chap by the name of Morgan, Mr. Morgan, introduced himself, I introduced myself. I said to him, I said, uh, I'm responding to this advert that you got in the newspaper. And uh, we chatted a bit and he asked me my age. He said, no, he said, you're too old. I'm looking for a younger man and blah, blah. And the Lord said, just tell him that you're coming to see him. So I said, Mr. Morgan, how about you just see me for a couple of minutes? See who I am and what, what, what I am. Well, he said, if you insist, okay, come. So I went. And uh, we sat there and we chatted, etc., etc., etc. And just before I left, I said to him, I said, Mr. Morgan, I've got news for you. He said, what's that? I said, when I get back to my office, you're going to phone me and you're going to ask me when I can stop. I mean, I mean, this was absolutely amazing. And his words to me were, I've got a sister who is as crazy as what you are. She speaks in this foreign language and she tells me that she speaks to God. So I spoke in tongues. I said, so do I. So he said, goodbye. I said, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Got back to my office. I don't think I was there 15 minutes. He phoned. He said, when can you start? I said, okay. I said, I'll make arrangement here. NPA owed me something like about one and a half years of, of, of leave that I hadn't taken. So we came to an uh, amicable arrangement. And I left and I joined an impact. It took me, with bonuses, overtime and whatever, it took me six weeks to get out of debt. That was it. But about 14, 18 months before that, I'd also seen an advert in the paper, and it was to do with the KwaZulu government. And they were looking for someone in the townships. And uh, I'd applied for this thing. I'd absolutely forgotten about it, completely forgotten about it. And I was working at NAMPAC, and Denise phoned and she said, I don't understand this. She said, a lady has phoned and she said, you have an interview tomorrow. I said, me? I said, it can't be. I, have, I haven't applied for anything. She said, this lady says, you applied some time ago, 14 or 18 months ago. I said, never. I, don't, I, I just don't recall it at all. I, I, I honestly didn't. Well, she said, is this your ID number? So I said, I said, listen, my darling, you know my ID number as well as I do. She said, well, she quoted your ID number. So I think you have an appointment. Said, okay, fine, you know. I said, what time's the appointment? I said, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I said, okay, fine. So I get there uh, in Bureau Crescent. The officers were in Bureau Crescent, in Mayville. And there are two other guys sitting there. And the first chap went in, he was there about 40 minutes or so. Second chap went in, he was there for half an hour, 40 minutes. I thought I said, well, I don't know what chance I've got, but yeah, goes. I walked in, got introduced to Mr. Van Rensburg, he was the chief director, and a chap by the name of Chris Lewis, he was assistant director, introduced themselves and a couple of other chaps that were sitting there. And the first words that Mr. Van Rensburg said to me, he said, I believe that you are a Christian. Now, how on earth he knew that, I, I, I don't know, because I, I don't even recall ever telling anybody at that particular meeting. And I said, yes, I am a Christian. He said, that's fine. He said, uh, you worked at Wentworth Hospital? I said, yes. He said, he said, I want to ask you something. I said, what's happened, Mr. Van Rensburg? He said, tell me the funniest thing that ever happened to you at Wentworth Hospital. So I told him. He burst out laughing. The, the, the whole board just burst out laughing. So he said, you can go. 
I said, I beg your pardon. He said, you can go. I said, no, thank you very much. And thank you for your time and so forth. And very good. Went back. Got to uh, Nampak. And the uh, boss man said to me, he said, your wife wants to speak to you. She's on the phone. Oh, into the phone. She says, hey, Mr. Van Rensburg just phoned me. I said, yes, I know I haven't got the job. No, he wants to know when can you start? Can you start tomorrow? Will you please phone him at your earliest convenience? So the very next day I phoned him and he said to me, he said, he said pop round when you've got a bit of time. Don't make an appointment, just pop round, come and see me and we'll settle things. Well, the outcome of that was more wages, free car, free petrol, medical aid, you name it, the whole package deal. So that was the sum total of, of, of my interview.